Hello, I'm Tracy Earnhardt, Product Manager for Extreme Networks and the E-Rate Program Champion with Jenny Incorporated. Our mission is to provide you with a valuable series of short videos intended to create greater awareness and offer useful information about the E-Rate Program. We hope to empower you with a greater understanding of how E-Rate works. E-Rate is the commonly used name for the Schools and Libraries Program of the Universal Service Fund and provides discounts to help most schools and libraries in the United States obtain affordable, high-speed internet access and telecommunications. In 2014, the FCC increased the E-Rate funding cap to $3.9 billion annually, making this an advantage of great importance. The five funded service types are classified in two distinct categories. Category 1 includes data transmission services and internet access, as well as voice services. Category 2 includes internal connections, managed internal broadband services, and basic maintenance of internal connections. Discounts can range between 20 and 90 percent of eligible service costs based on the level of poverty, which is determined by the percentage of enrolled students in the National School Lunch Program and the urban or rural status at the school district level. Eligible schools, school districts, and libraries may apply individually or as part of a consortium. The E-Rate program supports connectivity for communications using telecommunication services and the internet, or both. Schools and libraries are responsible for providing additional resources, such as end-user equipment like computers and telephones, software, professional development, and other elements necessary for connectivity. E-Rate is funded, along with three other programs, through a universal service fee charged to companies that provide interstate or international telecommunications services. The Universal Service Administrative Company, also known as USAC, administers the fund at the direction of the FCC. Resources are provided on the Extreme Network website, or you can click the E-Rate Resources link below this video for more information about E-Rate. Here you'll find helpful ongoing information for E-Rate updates, blogs, and webinars which you can register to attend, and can be found in the Extreme Live Events Calendar section. Additionally, USAC provides further information about the program, including useful resources and tools. Simply click the USAC resource link below this video to access their site. The USAC website offers more information about the applicant process for a school or library and the service provider process. You'll also find additional information, including forms, the latest news, the E-Rate Productivity Center, or EPIC, a glossary of terms and details about eligible services. Eligible services are passed each funding year and can change every year. Always check each year to ensure you are fully informed about the current eligible services. I truly hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about the E-Rate program, I invite you to reach out to me personally with the contact information listed at the end of this video. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the E-Rate program and how it can benefit you. From Jenny, your experts in technology and distribution, I'm Tracy Earnhardt, Product Manager for Extreme Networks.